All right, so I'm a little bit late to the ball with this one, just because I really wasn't going to get into it at first, but this issue continues to come up, and the issue I'm talking about, of course, is Israel versus Palestine. Now, I am not here to pick sides and root for one team or the other, because that's not what I'm doing, just want to make that very clear. What I want is a ceasefire, and I want peace. Now, I don't know if we're going to get that, but this whole issue in terms of people picking sides and, oh, I'm rooting for the Palestinians, I'm, root I'm rooting for Israel, it seems to be this weird partisan issue. You know what I mean? It seems like the left, generally speaking, likes Palestine and then the right is on the side of Israel. Now, again, not picking sides. I do not wish for the fighting to continue at all. I don't think either side can win. I think it's a loss either way if the, the longer this continues to go on. But is there a right, and I'm, I'm more asking a question because I do need to learn more about this topic, but is there a side that is right? Because I see a lot of people picking sides, and I'm not really sure what that's about. The only side that seems reasonable to me is a ceasefire. Now, this conflict, of course, has been going on for, I believe, what, 80 years now? So it seems like to me that both sides are at fault, and they keep going award with each other, they keep kind of pulling off these revenge bombings against each other every every once in a while. Is there a way for there to be peace between those two people or those two countries? Because it, it doesn't seem that that's the case. And if that is the case, I mean, if, if we can't get any peace, do we just not fund either side, let them fight out, do everything we can to get the citizens out so that none of them get hurt? Or is that even possible? I, I mean, it's just, it's, it's such a, a complicated and terrible issue seeing what's happened with all these children and women and families just being torn apart and all these horrific crimes being committed against them. It, we really need to find a way to end this. But I don't know how. I don't think just letting them fight is ever going to end it unless one of them does get, you know, completely just obliterated and they don't exist anymore. But I don't think... Anyone outside of those two parties wants that to wants that to happen. But at the same time, <laughs> a lot of people are picking sides, so maybe a lot of people do want it to happen. So I definitely want to hear a lot about what you think, because all these questions I have, I, I I I only seem to hear partisan answers. But I want a real. I'd love to hear from some Palestinian people and from some Jewish people just to get their perspective. I've heard a little bit of it online, but I just. You know, and like I said, I was going to leave this issue completely alone, but it's just, it's, it's getting to such a complicated thing. And now you have a lot of people like Jimmy Dore, for example, who think that this could spark World War III and, a, you know, a potential war with the U.S. and Iran, which would be, you know, catastrophic for that to happen. Obviously, I don't need to explain why that would be catastrophic. We don't need a World War III. Um, we need peace everywhere as much as we possibly can. And as quickly as possibly can, because if this continues to escalate, it could get really scary. So, well, it's already really scary, but it's going to get even worse and worse unless we really come together and find a way to stop the violence. To maybe, I mean, I don't think you can separate these people. They both want their land. No one's going to leave. So, I mean, is that what has to happen? Do they just have to kind of fight to the death and then that's it? And if that is the case, do you think that we should be funding them? Or Palestine, or do, or do you think that they should just do it themselves, no funding, no outside interference, fight until one of you's gone, and then maybe we'll have some peace? I wish that wasn't the answer, and I don't want it to be the answer, but it seems to me like that might be the only one. But again, I really want to hear from, in the comment sections what you guys think of this issue, and if there's any solution how it could be fixed without violence, if possible. So I know this is a bit of a short video, but I just really don't have too much of an opinion on this other than the fact that I want peace and that's really all I'm looking for um, and that's why I just wanted to reach out to you guys to see if that you guys have the same opinion and if not I definitely want to hear that as well but if you do agree with me I'd love to hear on what you think about what a potential solution could be so that we finally have peace in the Middle East.